Hello guys, my name is Nachi and welcome to a new YouTube video. So today we're going to attempt to do the draw this in your style challenge. And that thing has already been out for quite a while. What it basically means is that you take someone else's artwork, so another artist's artwork, and you try to recreate it or redraw the character that they gave you. It could be said it's basically like a collaboration between artists. It's like, oh yeah, you take my character and I draw it. But it's a little bit more open where you just upload the character and you allow basically everyone to use it. So it's like, oh, I upload the character, um, I put it underneath the hashtag, draw this in your style, and other people can just take the character and try to recreate it. So that's the whole deal about it. And that's what I try to do. I got two artworks today for you. I got one by the artist Yukairu. That's the one I'm currently working on. And then I have a second one for you a little bit later. So the reason why I picked two artworks is because I wanted to show that I can do different things. <laughs> Obviously I can do different things, but I can draw both something that's a little bit more cute and a little bit more sweet and very shoujo. And I can also draw something that's maybe a little bit more dark and gritty. And this is basically what the first one is. I got really inspired by the character. I uh, loved the design. I thought it was very unique and something different. It's not just, oh, it's a human and that's it. I uh, thought the mask looked really interesting and I personally like to draw masks. I think they always look very interesting and I think the design with the hole in the chest that has like a spear going through it looks really cool so that's why I decided okay you know what I'm gonna take this one and obviously when you draw this in your style challenge if you attend to do it you draw this in your style. I mean, it's in the name. I take the character and I just try to recreate it how I would envision the character and how I would interpret it, the character and how I would draw it. So I didn't try too hard to pick up on the style at all. I just did my style, obviously, but I try to stay within the limitations of the character or within the design choices of the character so she's recognizable. I had actually so much fun drawing the character. I think the coloring process was probably my favorite part of the character. The hair has a, like a really bright orange to it and I thought it looked so cool and so vibrant that I'm really happy actually how it turned out. I decided for some flowers in the background. The original doesn't have that and you also don't have to stick to a certain pose of the original artwork. So I try to like change at least the pose a tiny bit. She's still just standing there, but, but the angle is a little bit different. And I decided on putting some uh, flowers in the background just so it doesn't look too empty because I feel, especially with traditional art, I often do just like a one colored background and I feel often it can look empty, especially when you do more than just a headshot. When working with a headshot artwork, I always feel like the headshot fills out a lot of the space on the paper. So there is not that much space to do like detailed backgrounds, especially because you're very zoomed in and focused on the face. So I normally decide to not put anything in the background, but because I did a half body artwork, I decided that something needs to be there because otherwise she's just basically standing in nothingness. Just to talk a little bit about the drawing process, I feel like I say this in every video, but I'm gonna say it again. Um, I basically always start out doing a sketch and then I do my lines on top of that. I erase the sketch lines underneath it and then I have a clean artwork that I can color. Coloring normally happens with 
uh, Copic markers and also color pencils to bring out a little bit more vibrancy and more pigment afterwards. So I just basically lay down all my uh, Copic markers and lay out all my colors and then afterwards after shading a little bit I just go in with color pencil one more time and make sure that everything looks a little bit more crisp and a little bit more detailed. And I did that for both artworks. And then you can see for this artwork particular, I decided to make the background just a solid black because I thought the contrast would be really nice with the colors. And I just started to work on the details and put in some highlighters. But yeah, that's my interpretation of uh, the character from Yukairo. Uh, this is the Draw This In My Style Challenge. And if you want to check it out, I already uploaded it to Instagram. And also, I have linked the artist in the description below if you want to check her out or maybe give her a follow. So next we are working on an artwork by an artist called Ibu Chuan. She is actually really big on Instagram and that's actually the reason why I found her because I was looking through the draw this in your style tag on Instagram and I saw the same character again and again because so many other people had drawn her already. And I like the whole concept of the character. It's very cute. It's very bubbly. It's like this girly character that has like flowers in her head or it looks like flowers. It's supposed to be small buns on each of the side of her head and they kind of end up looking like a flower. I myself think it looks really cool at the end if you see both artworks next to each other, how different they look. And it was a really nice challenge to try something that is not what I normally draw. So if there's one thing I like to do, it's like I like to experiment and try new things. And I know maybe my style still looks the same, but I like to just do something that was very dark and a little bit bloody and a little bit more edgy. And then I have something that's extremely cute and it's just like very sweet. And I think that is a really, really good contrast. It looks really fun next to each other. As I already said, the drawing process is the same as with the first artwork. We do sketch lines and so on, Copic marker and then color pencil. We went for a lot more pastel -y colors uh, just because the original first of all has it and also because the overall feeling is a lot more um, it feels a lot more like spring and as I said, like a garden. So I wanted to use very, wanted to use very bright colors and a lot of spring colors. Only thing I had a problem with is probably her hair she has a lot of hair and I was I was actually having a lot of fun doing the sketch and also the lines I, I need to admit the lines took forever I think I was streaming this when uh, I drew it and it took me like I think around seven hours to get most of the sketch and also the lines done like the lines took extremely long and it's mainly because of the hair because I put like a lot of detail into the hair the sad thing is I feel like you actually don't see as much of it anymore later when it's colored. I always feel like my lines look really nice before I color them because they're like, oh, they're so crisp and it is like really detailed and you try to put a lot of work into every single line so it looks fine. And then you color over it and then it just, uh, it just doesn't even show up anymore. So that's the only thing I'm maybe regretting a little bit. I also don't have a lot of blue Copic markers so I had a problem getting her uh, hair color right it was a little bit frustrating so yeah that also happens for me I get frustrated <laughs> about stuff like this um, it was especially sad because I feel like I could have pulled it off and done a good job and it was just extremely frustrating to see that I didn't have the right colors at hand 
Especially because the original drawing by Yibu Chuan is also drawn in Copic marker as far as I can see. And it made me so sad because I know I could have done exactly the same colors, but, but I didn't have them. So I just did the best I could do with what, what I had. And I basically worked a lot with color pencils on top of uh, the Copic marker because... As I said, I had sort of limited choice in Copic marker colors that I needed to fix a lot of the blue with color pencils later. Overall, I had a lot of fun drawing both characters. Both of them are linked in the description. Their Instagram accounts are linked and also the original artwork are linked for both of them. I hope you liked how the characters turned out and what I did. Uh, if you're interested in getting any of the materials, I also finally started posting material lists down below. And if there's anything else you want to know, feel free to write it in the comments and I try my best to answer questions and everything. I'm really happy that I'm currently keeping up my schedule the way it should be so uh, let's hope I stick to it and I can continue uploading a lot of uh, videos thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it and I see you guys in the next video bye bye oh wait no I forgot something please like and subscribe god damn it I always forget to say that Please like and subscribe, turn on your post notifications because I feel like you need to say this nowadays to people on YouTube because otherwise they don't do it. Please do that and then watch all my videos. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.